Hello, good evening, everybody. Good night, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How are you? Good evening. Fine. Excellent, Magdalena. Very good. All right, everyone. As always, as always, or as per usual, it's a pleasure to have you in class, right? Excellent. We're arriving just in time. Let me share with you my, uh, my PPT and we can get started, right? So let's see, today is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. Where are you from, right? Ya esta es otra section. We are in section number three, class number six, right? Let me move on. Como ustedes eh, bien saben, en esta clase siempre vamos a tener una sección que nos ayudará a recordar lo que vimos la clase pasada, right? Entonces, vamos a ver. También teníamos una tareita de la, de la clase pasada, right? Una pequeña practice. So let's get started with this. En lo que se van conectando los demás compañeros, vamos a ir comenzando con esto. Let me see. Do you remember? Okay, create one sentence using this. Recuerdan ustedes que veíamos el uso del this y el this, right? Y aprendíamos cómo hacer eh, questions, preguntas. Ahora vamos a hacer sentences. Example, yo les hice un ejemplo. This is my cell phone, All right? Entonces yo tomo mi objeto y les digo, this is my cell phone, All right? Vamos a hacer eso, les voy a dar... Eh, Un par de segundos para que puedan hacer esa sentence porque ya es algo que ustedes manejan, ¿verdad? Using this, only number one. Ahorita estamos solo en la uno. Let me know when you're finished. Me avisan cuando termine. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Finish. Finish. All Finish. right. Excellent. All right, let's get started. Let me see. Okay, Finish. this one is separate. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's get started with Omar. Let's see, Omar Rodriguez, tell me your sentence. Okay, good night. This is your your house. Your house. Excellent, very good. This is your house. That's correct. Okay, very good. Melvin Benavides. This is my my mouse. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yeah. that's correct. Thank you for showing the object. Excellent. Magdalena Benitez, your sentence. This is my, this is her backpack. All right, excellent. No la vemos, Magdalena. No sé si es que no le funciona la cámara o por el internet. Por el internet. All right, excellent. Very good, thank you. Sachit, okay, Sachit, tell me your sentence. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Uh, the, this is my pencil case. All right, excellent. Very good, one object, that's correct. What about Luis Salazar? This is my pen for write. All right, for writing, excellent. Oh, to write. That's correct, thank you. Stephanie? Uh, 
this is my no my notebook. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Moss. This is my car. All right, excellent. No puede mostrarnos su carro. <laughs> All right, pero confiamos que ahí lo tiene. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Lester Fernandez. This is your work. Hello. Hello. This is your work. This is this is your work. Work. All right. Very good. That's correct. Fair enough. Let me have a uh, Darwin Campos. All right. This is my pants. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, everyone. Yo considero y creo que hoy sí manejamos el uso del test, right? Tanto como en pregunta, como en sentence normal. Vamos with number two. Create one sentence using these, right? Decíamos que this is for two or more objects. For example, aquí les pongo este ejemplo. These are my agendas. Eh, no traje la otra agenda. agenda. All right, but let's suppose there are two, right? These are my agendas, right? Now it's your turn. Tienen que crear su propio example. Let me know whenever you're finished. Me avisan cuando termine. Finish. Finish. All right, let's get started. Let's see, Daisy Lopez. Can you tell me your sentence, please? These are my books. Right? Do you have them? ¿Los tiene ahí? No. All right, that's great. These are my books. Excellent, thank you. Jose Mas, please. These are my finger, mm -hmm. fingers. Excellent, really good. Super basic, right? Excellent. Darwin Campos. This is... No le escuchamos. Maybe the audio fail. Tal vez el audio falló. This is our my shield. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Si usted no puede decir this is our, porque ahí estamos metiendo dos verb to be en una sola y eso no es posible. Gramaticalmente no existe, right? Entonces usted puede decir these are y ya dice los dos objetos, all right? Ok, Thank gracias. You. You're welcome. Let's go with Sachiel. Your microphone, Sachiel. These are my shoes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, pretty <Very> good. <laughs> All right, thank you. We believe you, le creemos. Excellent. 
Let me have Omar Rodriguez, please. Okay. These are your, your earrings. That's great, excellent. These are your earrings. Very good. Stephanie? These are my pencils. Excellent, very good. Thank you, very good use. Let me have Melvin Benavides, please. Very many. Mm -hmm. Okay, show, show. Ah. Okay, I see. Okay, uh, these are games card when you use my song. Excellent, yeah. very good. Yes, so. we can see them. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for showing them. Muy bien. Excellent. Um, let me see. Luis Salazar. Uh, I'm copy the most example, and these are my hands. All right. Yeah, very good. Uno dijo fingers, el otro dice hands. Excellent. Magdalena Benitez. These are my, my books. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'm going to have Mario Renato, please. These are my cameras. Cameras, excellent, very good. Aníbal Rivera, please. These are my glasses. Okay, excellent, thank you. William Reyes. These are my pencil. Pencils, okay, excellent. All right, everybody, excellent. Let me have, I have a Stella in here. Stella? These are my television. All right, very good. You got two or more. Excellent. Lorena Lucero? These are your phone. These are your phones, dos teléfonos. Sí. Excellent, Thanks. really good, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone, excellent, good job. We're doing great. If you have any questions, you can ask me, all right? If not, let's move on. Mention the prepositions of place, okay? Entonces, ayer terminamos la clase viendo las prepositions of place. Las preposiciones de lugar, ¿las recuerdan? Let's see, voy a preguntarle a algunos de sus compañeros. Let's see, Aníbal Rivera, mention the prepositions of place. Mencione at least two. Lo siento, olvidé mis notas. All right, excellent. Don't worry, no se preocupe. Let me have Mario Renato. Dos preposiciones de lugar, Mario. Uh, where? Prepositions of place. Mm. You don't remember. Right. No se preocupe, Mario. Let's see. Veamos quién más los puede auxiliar. Sochi, thank you. In, in front of, behind. Excellent. Thank you. Omar, tell me another preposition of place that we have. Ya dijo Sochi, in, in front of, and behind. ¿Qué otros tenemos? In front of, under, next to, in front of, under, excellent. Y aquí, cuando es a la par, ¿cómo lo decimos? Next, next to, next to, very good. All right, everyone, thank you. All right, and let's go to number four. Mention at least three double H words. Teacher, I, I have a question. I'm sorry, yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why the words out and between it's not considered a um, preposition of place? Como no, between sí y también el, ¿cuál fue la otra que mencionó? Out. Out. 
sí son consideradas como propositions of place, pero recuerde que como estamos a nivel beginners, la plataforma solo nos muestra esas, pero sí son propositions of place. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. Right? Sí, between es definitivamente una de las propositions. Es casi de las que más utilizamos. <laughs> right? Excelente, thank you. Ok, pero veamos, sé que ayer vimos eh, rapidito las double H words, pero quiero considerar que algunos de ustedes tomaron notas u otros tomaron screenshots y ya las leyeron. Let's see, Melvin Benavides, tell me at least three double H words. <laughs> eh, well, asking about a person, what's asking about a thing or idea when asking about time. Excellent, bravo, very good. Okay. Excellent. More on stuff. Okay. Let's see, Jose Moss, tell me another tree. Otras tres. Que no where, me digan mini, pero me dice cuáles son. Where, asking about a place. Mm -hmm. Why, asking about a reason. How, asking about a way of doing something. Excellent, bravo, very good. All right, everybody, excellent. We're doing great. Qué bueno que las recordamos. Ok, ahora sí, nos vamos a la actividad que teníamos de ayer. Yo les pedía que hicieran una pregunta utilizando double H words, ¿verdad? Podían utilizar cualquiera que ustedes quisieran, utilizando el verb to be, the subject, and the complement. Y les mostré algunos examples. Así que quisiera escuchar de parte de ustedes sus examples. Vamos a ver. Vamos a comenzar con Magdalena Benítez, please. Where is the police station? Excellent, that's correct, thank you. And let me have Lester Fernandez. No, Lester, okay, let's go with Lorena Lucero. Sorry, no, I'm not. You didn't, no la hizo. No. All right, don't worry, Lorenita, pero procure poder hacerla para que practique con el uso del double H word, ¿verdad? Excellent. Let's yes. go with Daisy Lopez. Why, why are you coming? here now. All right, excellent. Why are you coming here now? Excellent, pretty good. Monroy, let's see Monroy, your example. No lo hice. No lo hizo, hizo no. no. All right, <laughs> tratemos de o procuremos eh, poder hacerlo, ¿verdad? Para que así sepamos cuál es el uso. Let's see, eh, José Leonardo. Mm -mm. No. What are you All right, excellent, thank you. Mario Renato. What is your name? Great, thank you, very basic, thank you. Stephanie. All right. ¿Podría repetirla de nuevo, por favor? What is your grandmother? Who? Who, right? Who is your grandmother? Excellent. Very good. Wow. Let me see. Uh, Wilfredo Rodríguez. Okay. Where is your sister? Where is your sister? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Sochil. Where is my watch? Excellent, very good. Why is Rebecca there? Excellent, too, very good. Where are... Let me have Jose Moss. Me corrige si me equivoco. Excellent, tell me. What do you sing about? The English class. Mm -hmm. What? What? Qué? A ver. Do you, what do you think? Ah, what do you think? Uh -huh. About the 
English class. It's correct, excellent, yeah. What do you think about the English class? Excellent, thank you. Okay. Melvin Benavides? Um, where are the shoes? That's correct, thank yeah. you. Luis Salazar? Where is the forest? Excellent, very good. All right, everybody. I'm happy to hear that you did your homework. Let's see, Aníbal Rivera. What is your house? Where is your house? O, oh, quiere preguntar dónde está o cuál es? Eh, ¿Cuál es? Okay, what or oh, which one? En este caso sería which one. Ese sí es otra. Es que estaba viendo las dos, pero no, no sé cuál es la más correcta. Si quiere preguntar la locación, puede decir, where is your house? ¿Verdad? Okay. De hecho, okay. aquí, excelente, Aníbal, thank you. De hecho, les quería comentar, aquí falta ahorita que voy a recordar que Aníbal mencionó eso. También tenemos el which, que sería cuál, right? Cuál, cuando estamos eh, viendo entre distintas options, o tenemos distintas opciones, entonces si preguntamos which one is yours. ¿Cuál es la tuya, right? Excellent, thank you. Pero voy a ver si mañana se las puedo presentar aquí, pero creo que no aparece en la plataforma tampoco, ¿verdad? All right, everybody, excellent. I'm proud of you. I'm muy orgullosa de ustedes. Han hecho bien sus questions, sentences, and everything. Let's move on. All right? Decíamos que estas son las prepositions of place. Veíamos también esta eh, practice, right? que ustedes la tienen en la plataforma. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les salió a alguno de ustedes este, estos exercises en la plataforma? ¿Tuvieron problemas? ¿Les costó? A mí la última me dio problema. All right. So I have a problem, a problem with the first sentence. Really? ¿Con cuál? ¿Con la número dos? The first. The first. Ah, this one. Ah, sí, es cierto. No, no estoy diciendo que usted, José, pero ahora recibí un mensaje. No sé qué grupo habrá sido, pero me, me, me decían eh, que habían puesto book, book, pack, creo. Entonces, y era book, pack. A no ser que también le haya resultado en, ya en la estructura, le haya resultado el problema, José. Pues siempre me daba error, aunque pusiera ese bookpack, backpack, o X cosa. ¿Y la logró corregir o...? No. No. Ok, bueno, les voy a decir algo. En la platform se pueden poner, por lo que veo, se pueden poner eh, de diversas formas para tratar cuál sea la respuesta correcta. Por ejemplo, yo les mencionaba a ustedes al principio de los, del curso que si estamos hablando en una oración así como esta, no podemos utilizar capital letters, ¿verdad? No podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, the books are, yo no debería de comenzar el in en mayúscula, ¿verdad? En capitals, porque ya tengo mi oración, no estoy comenzando una sentence. Pero en el caso de la plataforma, hasta eso influ, eh, influía, ¿verdad? Algunas veces lo pedía en capitals. Eh, déjenme ver aquí si quiero. Si tengo otra vez. Si puede hacer contractions or, Ajá, o no. Exactly. Y entonces hay que cambiar porque a veces sale mal porque no llevaba contractions. Mm -hmm, exacto. Por ejemplo, en esta, en la 1, the books are in the book bag, pero el in, la i, iba en capital, iba en mayúscula. Entonces, y ahí es donde sí la aceptaba. Algunos no les aceptaba así, intentaron de otra forma y les salió. All right? Entonces aquí pueden intentar de diversas maneras hasta que lo logren. Si en dado caso a ustedes no les salen y ya agotaron sus recursos, right? Entonces pueden preguntar en el grupo. Yo con gusto les voy a brindar ayuda. Right? Excellent. Let's move on. Teacher. Ajá. En mi caso, yo envié unos ejercicios que he intentado de diferentes formas. Y pues el error continúa. En, en la anterior, fil, en la anterior filmina, uh -huh. lo que me daba error era que yo estaba copiando adreses. Ajá. Y Ese solamente también. es dress book. Ajá, Entonces, yo les mencionaba ayer en la clase que no fueran a poner adreses book. Aquí dice adreses. 
pero en el librito, ¿verdad? Pero la plataforma no lo toma, lo tomo como address book. Pues este, los demás errores los tengo, yo creo que sería quizás en la próxima clase que lo veamos, pero sí tengo ese impasse porque al final me genera, eh, como le dijera, cierta incertidumbre. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, una de las oraciones al final eh, dice, eh, I'm sorry, eh, well, it's nice to meet you. Yo sé que es I, T, S, nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Se lo he escrito como, it's nice to meet you, me lo tilda mal. Se lo he escrito, it is nice to meet you, me lo tilda mal. En una siguiente eh, tarea, encontré la frase, it's nice to meet you, escrita, it's apostrofe s. Pero ya en la respuesta que yo le estoy escribiendo a mi tarea, me la da mal. Es por el apóstrofe. Ajá, eso A mí me pasó lo mismo. Entonces okay. yo lo que hice fue copiar el apóstrofe que sale ahí directamente en la plataforma en alguna que está y después lo pegué y así ya me daba correcto. All right, Thank you. Very good. Sí, lo que sucede, Wilfredo, fíjese que sí, ahorita estoy revisando en el grupo y veo que ahí está su, su question, se la voy a enviar. En unos momentos le voy a responder ahí para el exercise para que lo pueda corregir porque todavía lo puede corregir, creo yo. Este, pero a veces influye eso del apóstrofe. Si le damos más espacio al apóstrofe, si le damos doble espacio, no lo va a recibir. O también el apóstrofe, pues como mencionaba Magdalena, it's different, right? Pero qué bueno, desde, gracias por comentarme eso. ¿Mm? Desde mi punto de vista, posiblemente completar la tarea sume o no sume. Uh -huh. Más sin embargo, a mí sí me va a sumar el conocimiento Exacto. para llevarlo al final de mi, de, de mi aprendizaje. Exacto, sí, está muy bien. No, sí, es que eso está excelente, right? Very good. All right, everybody. Sí, no crean que porque se regresan y la cambian. Ay, eso solo es para el puntaje. No, porque ustedes están corrigiendo un pensamiento que no tenían bien. Entonces, eso está bien. No hay ningún problema, right? Por lo menos, yo lo veo bien. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Instructions. Let's see. Stephanie, can you read it, please? The instructions. Instruction. Number one, work individual. Two, read one sentence using an object that you want. Three, you need to, to use preposition. Excellent. Repeat after me. Use. Use. Excellent. Very good. Use. All right. Entonces, vamos a crear una sentence. Este es un momento de practicar, everyone, y en el cual yo les puedo brindar ayuda. Vamos a crear una sentence utilizando prepositions of place, right? Hagámoslo, please. Let's work on this. Have you finished? Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's get started. Let's see, Omar Rodriguez. Tell me your sentence. Me dice su oración, por favor. Okay. The car is in front of your house. That's correct. Thank you. Jose Moss. The cat is under the box. Very good, that one, excellent. Stephanie?
your microphone. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice cama? Bed. Así, miren. Bed. Eh, the dog do is on the bed. All right, excellent. Yeah, if it is on, excellent. Very good. On the bed. Sochit. Let's see, Sochit. No la había hecho. <laughs> My daughter next to me is. My brother is next to me. Right? Okay. Let's see, Luis Salazar. My cell phone is in front of me. Excellent. Very good, that one. Magdalena Benitez. The library is next to the school. Very good. Melvin Benavides. Okay. Uh, the USB on is uh, under, under. Oh. Okay, uh, I show, I show, okay, okay, that's it. My a USB on the cell phone in mm. next, uh, next to uh, the roller. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good, Melvin. Lo hizo muy bien. Su sentence está bien. Solamente recuerde ponerle el I, right? My USB. Okay. Thank you. Excellent, very good. No, porque si está bien estructurada. Y puso dos. Excellent. Let me have Monroy. The chicken in front of the door. The chicken is. No nos olvidemos del verbo. Yeah. Is. <laughs> okay. In front of the door. Excellent, very good. Ah, un chicken. <laughs> Let me have Lorena Lucero, please. My shoes under my pestel. No sé cómo se dice pies, pestel. <laughs> uh, my shoes are under. Under, ajá, uh -huh, my pestel. Mi, o sea, quise escribir que mis zapatos están dentro de mis, dentro de mis, dentro de mis pies, debajo de mis pies. Mm -hmm. Under my feet. Feet. Ajá. Fit es plural. Put es eh, singular, right? Fit. Excellent. Thank you. No olviden el verb to be, el are o el is. Daisy López. The house is in front of the church. All right. Excellent. Thank you. José Leonardo. My house in next to the supermarket. Right, my house is next to the supermarket. Mario Renato. My watch is behind TV. All right, excellent. My watch is behind the TV. Darwin Campos. My phone is on the tablet. That's correct, thank you. Let's see, eh, cuando dice tablet, ¿se refiere a mesa o a la tablet, literal? Mesa, teacher, creo que table. sí Entonces, me equivoqué, es table. Uh -huh. table. Very good. Entonces sería, my phone. Uh -huh. Ay, su micrófono se apagó, Darwin. My phone is on the table. That's correct. Thank you. Aníbal Rivera, please. My computer is on the table. All right, excellent. Mm, let me have Lester Fernandez. The car are in behind of the house. All right, the car is, porque estamos hablando de uno, right? Recuerden. 
Ajá. Ok. Excelente. Porque recuerden que el is es para singular, right? Y el are para plural. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for your sentences. Let me have a, this conversation. Are you from Seoul? Right? Listen carefully. Vamos a escuchar eh, atentamente a lo que voy a hacer ahorita, right? Que es dar la conversation. Listen carefully the pronunciation. Escuchemos atentamente la pronunciación. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, listen carefully. Aquí tenemos eh, punctuation marks, right? We have punctuation marks y tenemos que respetarlos. Así que cuando decimos well, hacemos una pequeñita pausa. Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea originally, right? Que respetarlos. Let's see, let's get started. Luis Salazar, you are team Sochi. You are Jessica. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korean originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're, no, we're not from Seoul. We're from, ay, esa no sé cómo se pronuncia, Miss Daejeon. Daejeon. Uh -huh. Daejeon. Daejeon. Uh -huh. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Bravo, very good, no mistakes. Good fluency. Okay, so Jilton Luis, excellent. I'm going to have Melvin Benavides, you are team. Stephanie, you are Jessica. Action. Very good. Are you from California, Jessica? We, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea, Korea original. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the jump. The jump. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. Bravo. You're doing great. Stephanie, repeat after me. Originally. 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 Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. <laughs> Let me have uh, Monroy, you are team. And Lorena Lucero, you are Jessica. Action. Monroy, your microphone. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But, uh, but we're from Korea in original. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijonel. So is your first language uh, Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent, very good, thank you. We're doing great, okay? So let me tell you just this. We have words like Korea, this is a country, right? And that's how it sounds in English, Korea, Seoul, um, the nationality is Korean from Korea, the nationality is Korean, 
And we have this other word originally, all right? It's not original, originally. Excellent, thank you everybody. Let's go with Jose Moss, you are team, um, let me see, Estela, you are Jessica, action. Okay, are you from California, Jessica? Where my family is in California, no. But where from Korea originally? Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, where you not from? Ah, yes, I said video. Seoul. Sir, where from? Taijong. Taijong. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Estela and Jose Mouch. I'm going to have Daisy Lopez. And Daisy Lopez with Wilfredo Rodriguez. Okay, Daisy, you are Jessica. Wilfredo, you are team. Action. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is Californian now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korea. From Seoul, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the John. So, so is, so is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent, bravo, very good. We're doing great. And let me have Magdalena Benitez. You are Jessica. Mario, Renato, you are team. Action. Are you from San Miguel, sweetie, Magdalena? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, what happened? I'm sorry. Well, my family is, is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is, is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. You, Pretty good job. Excellent. Thank you. All right, I'm going to have Susana Cáceres. You are Jessica. Eric Castellón, you are um, Tim. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California. No. Where, uh, but where from Korea ori originally? Whoa, my mother is Korean. From Seoul? Are you from Seoul? No. We no from Seoul. We're from uh, Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. We're doing great. Let me have Carla Mejia. You are Jessica. Darwin Campos, you are team. Action. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul, are you from Seoul? No. We're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Very good. Everybody, thank you so much for your participation in this part. Um, we're doing great. We don't have uh, more mistakes in the pronunciation. We are improving a lot. Hemos mejorado muchísimo con esa pronunciation. Y me gusta mucho porque significa que sí están practicando, right? Excellent. Let's move on. And negative statements 
and yes, no questions with B, right? Tenemos estas sentences. Escuchen primero la pronunciation y luego les va a tocar a ustedes. I'm not from New York. You are not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You are not early. They are not in Mexico, right? Let's get started. Ahorita solo vamos a practicar con esta parte. Let me have Stephanie, please. Read number one and number two. I'm not from New, New York. You're not late. Thank you. Luis Salazar, three and four. He's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. Excellent. Eric Castellón. Let me see five and six. It's not English. We are not from Japan. That's correct. Thank you. Zachild, seven, eight. You're not early. They are not in Mexico. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Y aquí tenemos la contraction. Si ustedes se fijan en todas tenemos contractions, right? Y negative es posible hacer la contraction. Where we are. Ahora vamos con la pronunciation de estas. Dicen carefully. Escuchen atentamente. Are you from California? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? All right, Omar Rodriguez, please, one and two. Okay. Are you from California? Am I early? Excellent, thank you, Jose Moss. Uh, three and four. Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Thank you, Monroy, five and six. Is it Korean? Are you from China? Thank you, Estela, seven and eight. Are we late? Are she in Canada? All right, repeat after me. Are we late? Are we late? Are they in Canada? Are they in Canada? Excellent, thank you. All right, everybody. And let's check these answers. I am, I'm not, right? Estas son las respuestas a la pregunta. I am, I'm not. You are, perdón. Yes, I am, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Yes, they are. No, they are not. Let's see, let's practice this pronunciation. Melvin, please, uh, the first four, las primeras cuatro, con yes. Yes, I am. No, I not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Uh, yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Thank you. Daisy Lopez, please. Las últimas cuatro con yes and no, please. Yes, it is. No, is it is not. Yes, we we are. No, we're not. 
Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. That's correct. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right, everybody. There you have it. Tienen esto. Esto pertenece también a la platform. De ahí lo saqué. No estoy segura si es en un video, pero ahí está. Okay, don't worry. I need to move forward. Let's see. Formula or structure. Formula o estructura. Sentences. Esto es específicamente para las oraciones. Sentences. ¿Qué tenemos aquí para la estructura? A ver, ¿quién me puede leer la, la estructura? Let me have Magdalena Benítez, please. Object plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. Entonces tenemos el subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Listen, escuchen. Aquí yo no puedo poner no, I'm no. No puedo poner eso. Esa T de ese not, it's mandatory. Right. Ese negativo tiene que estar como not. También en la pronunciation es necesario que la hagamos. Aquí traje estos examples. Ok, so let me have. Um, Susana Cáceres, can you please read number one and two? Marilyn is not from El Salvador. I am not a good student. Thank you. Darwin Campos, three and four. You're not for you're not part of my family. Casey is not my brother. Excellent, thank you. Aníbal Rivera, number five. La última también. Ah, no, Aníbal Rivera is gonna do the last one. Let's see, Aníbal. It's not cloudy today. Excellent, thank you. All right, everybody. Aquí lo tienen. Estos son las structures. Okay, utilizando un negativo. Les mencionaba que cuando ustedes hacen respuestas a las preguntas, tenemos que decir no, I'm not, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, como estamos en sentences, el negative solo voy a necesitar uno, ¿ok? For example, Marilyn is not from El Salvador, ¿ok? Ahora, let's see, let's move on. Practice time. Mm. Luis Salazar, can you please read the instructions? Okay. Number one, work individually. Number two, create three sentences using verb to be in negative. And three, share your sentence with the class. Excellent. All right, everybody, let's work on it. No creamos, no vamos a crear tres. Vamos a crear only one, all right? Una oración utilizando negativo. Let's work on this. All right, are you ready? Terminamos, are you finished? Finish. Excellent. Finish. Excellent, very good, let's get started. Let me see Darwin Campos, tell me your sentence. I am not soccer player. 
All right, excellent, very good. Stephanie, tell me your sentence. Your microphone is different. I am not uh, Costa Rica. I am not Costa Rican. No necesita el A. Solo I'm not. Daisy Lopez. You are not in the park. Right, excellent. Searching. Miss Arevalo is not from Santa Tecla. Excellent, very really good. That's true. Excellent. Let me see. Luis Salazar. My sister is not at home. Right, excellent, very really good. And Aníbal Rivera. Aníbal Rivera. My brother is not fit. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Let's check everybody. We're going to finish the class in here. It was a pleasure to have you. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. No olvidemos. Mañana tenemos clase. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.